Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making broccoli casserole. Okay, I'm starting out here with one medium onion, and I'm just going to give this a quick dice. And it doesn't have to be nothing fancy, just diced up. Okay, I have a 32 ounce bag of cut broccoli here. It's frozen. I'm going to cook it to the directions on the back of the bag. And I have my onions all chopped, all diced up, and I'm going to saute them in a minute. Okay, while my broccoli cooks, in my large frying pan, I'm going to throw in a quarter of a cup of margarine or four uh, tablespoons. I'm going to melt that. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit so that doesn't scorch. And that onion that I chopped up, I'm going to saute that in here till it's cooked through and translucent. All nice and mixed together there. All right, my onions are all uh, fried or soft and translucent. Now I'm going to dump that broccoli in that I boiled, and that went for six minutes by the directions. And I'm just mixing it in this frying pan. It's going to go in a different pan. Now I have two cups of parboiled rice here I cooked. That's going in. Let's judge. Yeah. I suggest using parboiled or instant rice because uh, regular rice just takes too long. Okay. Now I have two ten and a half ounce cans of cream of mushroom soup. They're going to go in. And this calls for a 16 ounce jar of processed cheese like Cheese Whiz, but uh, my youngest son decided to get in that and make some cheese crackers, so he ate some. So I'm going to put what I have left in here, and I have some shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to stretch stretch the rest of it. Okay, and I warm this in the microwave a little bit to make it a little more manageable. Keeping over a little bit because uh, I use more broccoli than what the directions came for called for because it called for uh, 20 ounces of broccoli and I couldn't find two 10 ounce bags or one 20 ounce bag so I got a 32 ounce bag of broccoli. My kids like broccoli so I can put that in there. Now I'm going to add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and if you get a 16 ounce jar of uh, like cheese whiz or something like that or even Velveeta cheese. You don't have to add this in if you don't want to. This is like I said to stretch this. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to this. Knock that down in there. This is the taste. So I'm gonna go with about a teaspoon of each. Maybe a teaspoon and a half on the salt because it seems like you never get a salt enough. Okay. I'm going to gently stir this together without making a mess because it's kind of full. Alright, I have a 9 by 13 baking pan here that I spray with some cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this over into there. And I'll be putting this on a cookie sheet because it's going to be awful full and I don't want to cook over into the oven. And this is going to go into a 350 degree oven uncovered for 30 to 40 minutes until everything's baked through and your top starts to turn a little brown. Then it'll be time to take her out. She'll be done. Okay, now let me just even all this out here. All right, now it's time to put that in the oven. Okay, my casserole's done. It went for a half hour, and it's golden brown. So let's go ahead and serve this up and see what we got. I went ahead and fried up some ham. So there you have it. Broccoli casserole with fried ham on the side. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.